Welcome everyone. Adam the Woo here as a recording of the Saturday, April 16th? 16th, I believe. Tampa J is here. We are standing in downtown Chicago. Welcome to Chi Town. I, this is great. I was gonna do this amazing reveal that behind my head is a moose head chewing bubblegum. Not the they live quote. This moose is, is I'm all out of bubble gum. But that moose is not all. No, Roddy Roddy Piper. Today, <laughs> we are going to Guarantee Rate Field for our second Chicago White Sox Tampa Bay Rays game of the series. Right over here is where Cowbell Max is staying. Staying downtown. He's on his way down. We're gonna get a piping hot caffeinated beverage while we're waiting for him. I'm not really gonna film much of the game today, but I did want to do a kind of a true vlog, a day in the life of myself and my friends who are here. No real rhyme or reason. I thought about not even filming today. Yeah. And then I said, heck it. You gotta show Chicago. I gotta, I'm gonna show some of the key points downtown before going to the game and then maybe I'll film a little bit after the game. Sounds fun to me, So man. file this one under a daily vlog. It's the daily woo. Ooh, I haven't heard that in a while. Join me and Tampa J, and as soon as Cowbell Max gets down from his elevated hotel room up there. Yeah, this is pretty elevated. <laughs> Join me, shall you? Shall you? Should also mention, as I wave my shadow here, it is currently 37 degrees. Notice how the train is kind of tilted through here. One o'clock, so we're gonna try to get there a little early for batting practice. As of right now, you don't see that every day in Florida. You don't see that in Florida every day. <laughs> it is 9:15 at the moment, and I am seeing a Dunkin' Donuts down here. Oh, yummy! Let's get a little piping hot caffeinated beverage from Dunkin'. Please. Okay, the interesting thing is we waited about 10 or 15 minutes for the first train and we only waited about one minute for the second train. There goes not a monorail. And the bean is a half mile from here, so I think we parked oh, yeah. over here in this lot. By the way, they don't have hourly parking. Down here, there was no hourly. It was $15? 15 bucks. 15 bucks. So we're gonna walk down that way to the bean. It's also, it's also, my hands are, my hands are chilly. Yeah, it's a little chilly in the, in the shade. In the shade. Oh, this Dunkin's open 24 hours. It's a 24 hour Dunkin' Donuts. Check this out. So you know what that means. We can come back up here about 3 a.m. Let's do it. 3 a.m. We 3 should wander the streets of Chicago and get some Dunkin'. What's vlogging? I'm being... I'm, no, we're not doing that. Okay. That was a hypothetical. Okay. I don't know if I'll be walking the streets of Chicago at 3 a.m. All right, Max has arrived. Day two, baby, day two. Let's are, get it on. Are you a coffee drinker? Honestly, I'm not much of a coffee drinker. You know, I, I was going to assume you weren't, so we went ahead and got ours. We got the little Dunkin' here. But you know what, Max? You love Tropicana Field. And we love that pulp-free orange juice, baby. And you know why I mentioned that? Because right over here is the Tropicana <laughs> machine. That's right. Look at this. <laughs> it's like a taste of home. So you'd rather have an OJ than, uh, than, a, than a coffee? And for everyone that thinks this was planned, this was a complete coincidence. Like just, we literally just walked up I on this I caught it machine. on the corner of my eye. Would you, do you think there's even anything in this? Like, let's no. be honest. Is there anything in this no, machine? There's nothing in this machine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, it's, time, it's time for you to become a coffee drinker. Here, Frizz, frizzles. Frills. <laughs> Frills. Yeah, uh, oh, here, look, there's a uh, Mountain Dew. This is the inner workings of a soda machine. Well, an orange juice machine. <laughs> I like how they have an orange juice company, Tropicana, on the side. But then over here, it's just, it's just soda. 
Mountain Dew, Diet Pepsi. To Chicago. Ah, oh, they it, they made me look. Four or five or six years ago, I was walking the streets through here and I stopped by here and the building still exists. The dad from A Christmas Story, Christmas Story. also Adam Sandler's dad in Billy Madison, was in a TV show in the 70s called Kolchak. And this right here was his office right here on this corner. It's pretty interesting that the traffic goes right underneath the train itself. Kind of reminds me of Philly too. Philly is Philly's like this. Philly has these type of trains. Let's end of that. All right, covering some ground. Doing a lot of walking. This area through here has some vintage signs. A little vintage parking, a little throwback parking there. A neon here of the Plymouth. Up on the top of that building, almost looks like some gargoyles or some sort of winged creatures there on the corner. Walk sign is on for all crossings. And the walk sign, walk sign is, is on, on for, all crossings. for all crossings. Who is that lady? Gotta head down this way, try to get a view of the skyline and of course the bean and the fountain. Also, Route 66 starts and ends right around in this little neighborhood too. Not doing a Route 66 trip, but it does. I've done, I've been here before. Kodak camera films. Yeah, I like that a lot. And the pigeons flying around as well. There it is, kind of silhouetted out. But it says the end of 66 here in Chicago, Illinois. Right here, all the way to Santa Monica, right? Yep, starts in Chicago, ends in Santa Monica, or starts in Santa Monica, ends in Chicago. Depending on which way you're going. Look how it works that way. <laughs> starts at the pier, ends in downtown Chicago. I highly recommend doing that trip if you've never done it. I did it, it's pretty awesome. All right, getting closer to the skyline side of downtown and the bean is down that way now kind of like one of the most iconic landmarks here in the windy city right now the wind has subsided just for a moment that was great now there is a classic 80s film based in chicago 
And this building you see up here on the far end, a very unique skyscraper with a diamond shaped roof line, was seen prominently in Adventures in Babysitting. However, the movie was not filmed in Chicago. They just used that building and kind of superimposed it on some alleyways and streets. Not in Chicago. Movie magic. But that was the building she was like climbing out on top of, dressed as Thor. Great movie. And one or two blocks over from where I just was showing the end of 66, this block shows the beginning of 66. So if you're going east to west or west to east, you, can dip, you have to start on one block or the other. I've only gone from west to east in one direction. I've never gone, never started in Chicago, but gone to Santa Monica. Maybe one day. I've done a lot of parts of Route 66, and then I'll veer off. I've only done its entirety once. We want to do a little food review. So street tacos here. We're gonna be 100% real. Tacos are super great. Scale of one to ten, we'll give them a seven and a half. Oh wow! Seven and a half. That's the cowbell seven and a half. The cowbell max seven and a half. Seven and a half, teetering eight. Teetering. All right, and you got those over there. There are quite a few food trucks next to where the bean is. There's so much awesome stuff to see here. This city, I feel like you could stay here for a month and not show everything. So right up here is the bean. In fact, I can almost see its spaceship-like silhouette peeking up over the trees. But of course, this time of the year, there's no greenery and no foliage on the trees, but the bean straight ahead, right over there. And here's a closer view from that pictures of babysitting building. Wow, there is a, look at that. There is a face on that. Oh, the face is moving. The face is blinking and smiling next to the skyscrapers. Look at that. There it is, right there, over there on the bean. See it up there on that little elevated area with the reflection of downtown in oh, the yeah. bean's silhouette. Got to get up there and get a good view of the bean. We need to take a group photo too. We need a group photo. It's bean it. In front of the bean? Yeah. Real quick it. like, Jay, if you could just get me standing here. This is for posterity. Okay. Have me in the center. You got it. Just me here. There you go. It looks nice. Does it bean look good? looks good. The beans to your to your left or right. Silhouetted. All right, there are more than a few people. Raise up, let's go. Let's go. Woo! Yeah, like it. We're meeting a lot of people wearing Ray stuff. I know, bro. That's like the that's like the seventh or eighth person downtown. You know what's crazy? I haven't seen any White Sox or Cubs stuff, and I've seen probably ten Ray shirts already today so far. So that means. The bay's out here, baby. We out here. <laughs> yes, sir. That is a rather large bean. It's not a real bean. You cannot, do not nibble on that snack-like sculpture. The bean. Quite the glare on this thing. Got the sunburst there. Oh, you can walk underneath the bean. Look, you can go directly underneath the bottom of the bean. Full circle. One of the most popular photographed landmarks here in Chi-Town, Chicago. Oh, there we are right there. Hi. Still got your coffee. I just finished mine. <laughs> it's almost like one of those 360 cameras. Wow. You, know, you go to the theme park, you get the 360. Dude, this is weird. Isn't it weird? Super weird. Whoa. We're like so far away, but we're not. Right there, look. Let's all get in here. That's us right there. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Oh, this is so weird. It's not even that far away from the top No, it almost looks like you can reach up and touch it. You yeah, can't though. It's like an optical illusion. <laughs> it's like water. It's like very fluid. Remember that SNL skit? 
da bears. Chicago bears. Da, da bean. Da bean. Or Chris Farley. Ditka. Is it Chris Farley? Or was it the guy from Cheers? Look at that skyline reflection though. That is something else. Looking at it from this angle is awesome with the reflection of the skyline in it. Yeah, dude, I, was, I got a good picture. It's like a painting. When you get close, you're like, am I looking at the skyline? And then you turn around. You're like a modern, modern art masterpiece. <laughs> that was a really failed that was a full deep, metal jacket. Cut. Yeah. <laughs> Arlie Ermy quote. You're like a modern mart. <laughs> Why can't I not some modern mart? <laughs> modern art masterpiece. The first and last words out of your filthy sewers <laughs> will be, sir. I'm trying to remember the SNL skit, The Bears. Was Chris Farley in that skit? The Bears, yes. Yes, sir. Do you remember that skit? Yeah, he was in one of those. And the guy from Cheers, the guy who played Norm, was in it too, right? Yeah, I believe so. Norm from Cheers, yeah. I don't know why, but now you no guys bears. are making me think of the Country Bears. Or it could have been Cliff. Was it Norm or Cliff? Country Bear Jamboree? Yeah! <laughs> this is really good. You can see all three of us right there. Look at this. It's, def it's like a mirror. The My coffee's not even hot. I've been holding this coffee. It's now cold. It's not piping hot I've been anymore. holding this for a while. Get rid of it. It is, it is about half full of chilly, frosty, caffeinated beverage. I'm going to just throw it, or throw it away. Like you said, half full, not half empty. Shows a lot. Tells a lot. Over here, I'm noticing something kind of dangling from the oh, trees. Like jellyfish. There's something in the trees. There's something in the trees. Yeah, one thing about this Chicago trip, this it truly is a sausage fest. <laughs> a real. This, is, yeah, this explains it right here in the window. In the, in, this is a good size little sculpture here. Look at the mane on that thing. Got the Illinois state flag up there. Got the Chicago city flag. Got the U.S. flag. And evidently, this is Cook County. The oh. Cook County. Cook County. I did not realize that Chicago was in Cook County. We'll take Cook's... I, hold, I gotta do Arnold. That's right. Come on. We'll take Cook's car. He won't be needing it. <laughs> On our way over to the fountain. I don't think the fountain's going to be on though because of the, the weather conditions. Oh, wait, I think it's open. Probably, fountain's probably only on in the summer, summertime. Could be wrong though. They this... almost, they almost kind of have like a purple tint to them too. Do they? Like a bluish purple. Yeah. So that's interesting. There's a few leaves on the trees through here, but most of the trees. It's kind of weird that most so most of the big trees over there have no leaves, but these smaller trees have leaves, and then the flowers down here are growing. I know for sure though those are not petunias. And obviously it'd be much more impressive if the water was on from the intro from Married with Children, when it starts singing the love and marriage song and then the water kind of spews up from here. However, a sitcom like that would probably not be made today. Nah. <laughs> what between that and the Simpsons they kind of put Fox the television studio Fox or the TV station TV company Fox on the map I'd say so, yeah. Married with Children and the Simpsons in fact they used to mock Fox on Married with Children yeah, they did. on the on the TV commercials you know Al Bundy and when she's groveling at your feet give her the mark of the Z tell her you got the ring from Al Bundy Hey man, don't bundy that book. I'd probably break an ankle. Look how, look at that. That's the yeah, end. That's only like two, like two and a half feet. That's not too bad. It's probably frowned upon though, Max. Yeah. You go first though. If you want to. I've done some things in my days that were frowned upon, <laughs> and it came back to haunt me. <laughs> Trust me. You're looking around. <laughs> You're thinking about I'm, it. I think I'm he's surveying a... the area. <laughs> don't woo it. <laughs> don't woo. Hey man. Hey Max. Don't woo it. <laughs> don't bundy that book. Yeah, it's starting go. to become a really nice day. The weather is nice. It's cool and crisp, but the wind is not blowing too hard and the sun is out. There's not a cloud in the sky. Yesterday was very overcast and rainy and dreary, 
I like the cool temperatures. I don't even mind a little bit of a breeze as long as it's not too gusty and windy. Right now is perfect. This is a good day in Chicago. But a good day. I'll put these back on because it's bright. That sun's bright. Santa Claus is coming to the Lakeside Mall. Remember when? Remember the Santa Claus episode? I think so, yeah. When Santa Claus fell, <laughs> he was going to parachute into the Lakeside Mall. And he fell, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like one of the funniest. <laughs> you can't even get it out, it's so hilarious. As traffic goes by over there, take a look, there's little sailboats out on the water. Hey man, don't bundy that book. Got a little artwork here in the alley. Is this a tooth? Is this a piece of toothpaste? Ooh, yeah. Is that a toothpaste tube? Yeah, it's squirting out of the top there. All it's right. It's going all the way over there. Looks like a toothbrush down there or something. Yeah, the back alleys of Chicago. All right, I'm gonna change. Oh yeah, as we're going back to the car, perfect timing, another train going by. Look, peeking up over the top, is that the former Sears Tower, Willis Tower? Might be. Little spires, the tower up there with the steam rolling off of it. Max just pointed this out. That's so random. We got the Tropicana machine down there. And we got, what the heck? In Chicago? And we randomly parked here. Visit Tampa Bay. Oh my gosh. What? Walking under this train overpass, going to the stadium. Baseball cards. Yeah, it's pretty neat. They got little baseball cards through here. We parked in a different area today than we did yesterday. It seems like the weather's better, so it's gonna be a lot bigger turnout. It was yesterday. Yeah, there's definitely a lot more people here today because the weather is much better than yesterday. Gates are just about to open now. It's gonna be a full house. All right, the game has already kind of been continuing on. Move from seats over here to center field. I didn't go with the hot dog, but I went with the sausage. I'll take these back to the, the seat as well. Pretty good angle from here. You can see the stadium's pretty full today. And he intentionally walked T-Man, so now bases are loaded with two outs. Troy on first, Phillips on second, it looks like Yandy Diaz on third, brought in Walls. Oh, strike one. This is their moment if ever there was one. Oh, there's a ball. <laughs> White Sox didn't like that at all. One and one. This is intense. Two, two. Very intense. Two out. One more strike needed to strike out the Rays, but all they need is a base hit. Bring in the tying out of the infield to bring in the winning run. Oh man, this is so stressful. Nice little view from the second level exiting out of the skyline of downtown Chicago over there. That's pretty cool. Hello. Found a parking lot over here and gonna head to Chinatown with the train stopping and downtown skyline in the distance.
There it is, right there, the archway. Well, the entry point, I should say. It's not really an arch, but the entry point in a Chinatown right here on Wentworth. Chicago's Chinatown. And I went ahead and ordered a, a batch of spring rolls. These are like, these are veggies. I think these are veggies or are these shrimp spring rolls? Squimp. And over here in the corner is a K-pop store. There's a K-pop store over here as well. And a big truck going by. Obscuring the look of Vegas downtown. I always like the little waving cats, the luck, the good luck cats down here. Now all of these are kind of shifting. These are like in the right here in the window display of the store. The solar powered, they have little solar powered grids. So the, they don't think they run on batteries. Like the since they're here, the sun powers them up, and the cats, the good luck cats, will wish you good luck and wave at you as you walk by. This old signage. Look at this. It's got the bulbs on the side around the around the edge, and then it appears as if it had some old neon where it says Ming's Enterprise. But the neon has been removed. This sign has seen some years. You can even see it in the reflection over here to this side as well. And with the sun about to set, it's my shadow right there. And that's gonna do it for today from Chicago. A full day, starting in downtown, perusing around some of the, the places, the skyline, the bean, the fountain, baseball game, and then Chinatown. We'll see you in the next video. The sun is setting, and the vlog and the temperature is dropping. The vlog is over.